Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up the Roku mobile app through your mobile device. So what we wanna do is, if you're on an Android device, find the Google Play Store. If you're on an iPhone, it should be in the App Store, but I'm on an Android device, so I'm gonna launch the Google Play Store. And then up here in the search bar, we're gonna search for the Roku app. And once we find the official Roku app, what we wanna do is install it. And once the Roku app is done installing, you can either open it right here, or we can head back to our homepage. And if the Roku app icon doesn't automatically show up on one of your home pages, then what you can do is scroll up from the bottom to find a list of all of your apps. Find that Roku app and hold your finger on it. Then we can drag and drop it wherever we want it located. So let's say I want it right here. And to launch the Roku app, I'm going to click on it. It brings us over to the welcome page in the Roku app. And if you're good with the Roku app terms of use as well as privacy policy, you can click continue. The Roku app gives you the option to search for your favorite shows and movies and save them to watch later. We can use our phone as a remote and search for TV shows, movies, and more. Again, clicking next. And if you'd like, you can turn on notifications to get offers, updates, new shows to stream, and more. Again, clicking next. So at this point, you can sign into your Roku account. So sign in to manage your save list, watch free TV and movies on the Roku channel itself. So by doing that, we can click sign in. Otherwise, if you just want to quickly set things up, you can click continue as guest. And as long as you have your Roku device turned on, you should be able to find it by clicking on devices in the bottom right hand corner as long as you're hooked up to the same internet that your mobile device is hooked up to. So I'm hooked into the same wireless Wi-Fi internet router on both my mobile device and my Roku. So when I click on devices, it's going to search for devices. And it takes a little bit of time for it to search and find those devices, but I can see a couple of different Roku TVs that I have in my house. Let's say I want to hook it up to my 55-inch Roku Plus Series TV, so clicking on that. Now I can see that I'm connected, so I can either open up the remote options. I can look at the apps that are on my Roku to open them through that interface if I'd want to do that. Going back to the previous page, I can also cast media such as photos or videos that I might have on my mobile device if I wanted to cast those over to the Roku TV. But opening up the remote option, this gives you the option to do voice search or you can type things in with text if you want to do that for searching. And then this is going to function like your Roku remote. But additionally, we can do private listening if we have headphones, for instance, that are hooked up to our mobile device. If we click on this little headphone icon, it's going to activate private listening. And to get rid of private listening, you just tap on it again and it gets rid of that. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up the Roku app on your mobile device. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.